So I'm coming quite low down the back and I'm shoving the thoracics left to right to ensure there's some give and when I feel a bit of tightness I'm just pausing, applying a little bit of pressure and with that pressure comes some Qigong energy. So that lovely warmth and reassurance facilitated by a touch but actually activated from India's own body. bringing the fingers into a line underneath the occiput, raising, beautiful, lovely. So India's had quite a few of these now, nose just to completely let go and give in. It's the best way to be. Some people will try and bend their head back for me because they like the feeling so much they want to be there straight away. But it all comes in good time. And then letting it go, letting it go, lengthen, 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 lengthen. Breathe. Lovely. Just feeling each side of the neck. Being quite strong. And up again. Oh, lovely, lovely. And then I'm keeping my fingers in that line and the fingers are touching so that there's no gap between my hands and that will ensure that the, the gap in the spine between uh, the very top of the spine to the occiput is present quite often. A lot of people don't have a gap there because we've had accident or injury or repeated action that has shortened the spine and, and made our head very heavy, pushing it down on the top of the spine. So it's lovely to have a nice space, a bit of stillness there, nice. Turning the head to have a look at the spine with my thumb. Moving each of the seven, oh, little crunch there, each of the seven vertebrae separately. Yeah, it's, it, it's hurting a little bit, so I'm just going to give that a little bit of individual attention. Pushing it down with my thumb. up again, let's see what it's like. And supporting the head in the air, that really helps to have free movement of the spine so it's not impeded by the couch. It's better, it's not crunching, there's a little bit of a click there, but it's much better. Yeah, there. Let's see what happens if I check the other side. Fine. Good. Okay, and then working on the spinal processes, pushing them around. This can be quite sore. It's something that we don't normally do. Separate our neck vertebrae in the spine, we don't normally separate them, so having that done to you can be quite sore. It's got nice and rosy, that's a really good sign, shows the blood is coming to the area that it needs to. Okay. 
and then spinal processes left side and just giving them a little test to see if they will bend round they will turn lovely that's good the head wants to turn with it but it is turning each one is turning on their own that's a good sign and then a final check all the way down to the T1, that knobbly bone at the base of the neck. Yeah, good, good, good. And of course, when our neck becomes tight and impeded and the vertebrae don't move separately, that really is one big reason why we get headaches because that will impede the circulation up to the brain, up to our nervous system, the glands, etc. It all needs to be free flowing. So I'm just bouncing each shoulder down while supporting the head to try and lengthen the, the shoulder length between the neck to the shoulder and that actually will relieve the neck as well lovely and now a little on the cranials so definitely want to be doing the zygomatic so zygomatic are the cheekbones and I'm just using the thenar muscle the heel near the base of my thumb the heel of the hand Hardly applying any pressure, just touching, tuning into the energy, the warmth and working out the alignment, just making sure that the energy here and the structure are aligned. It feels tight on the right hand side left feels very open, loose and open-hearted, the right side really tight, like a closed door. And we can't hurry these things, they will work in their own time. Enjoying that lovely, let it be attitude. It will come in its own time. There's no rush, no forcing. And it's starting to come. Beautiful, it's working, it's working. India's gone into a beautiful state of deeper breathing. That really helps with the energy, allowing no restriction and congestion, just a free flow. Free flow. Now working on the sphenoid. Each side of the eyes, the sphenoid bone, a beautiful, large bone within the cranials. And if you were to look at it on its own, if you were to take it out of the head and look at it, it would look like a moth, a big moth with eye sockets flying towards you.
And when relieving and releasing the sphenoid, it feels like flying a plane, like I'm holding the steering wheel of a plane and it can go in any direction. As I've explained before in core therapy when testing a walking mechanism and I test the pitch, roll and yaw. These are all the different wayward movements of a plane that also our body can do. And it's really important that when we're walking, our eyes are level with the ground. If our head is at an angle, maybe because the spine is conditioning it to be so, or maybe we're holding our fringe out of our eyesight, it has a huge effect on the workings of our body. It's not great. So our body in optimum position will be eyes level with the ground as we're moving, running, walking, standing. So maybe just check with yourself and make sure that your head is level and you haven't got a slightly lopsided gait. And this Qigong will help level the head, which can have a huge effect on the workings of the body. Maybe even causing it to faint if it's not correct. This will also have an effect on the pituitary gland and therefore the endocrine system. The release and messaging system of the hormones. Because the pituitary sits just above the sphenoid. And if the pituitary is misaligned or not working correctly, It's probably because, or well, one reason could be because the sphenoid is not in the right place. So sphenoid being aligned will help support the pituitary and help what we call milk it so that when we're walking, it has that lovely massaging action on the pituitary gland. Lovely, that feels really good. <clears throat> Just update my notes, making sure I know where I am with India every time she comes. So I always write down what action I have done on the body and what came up in the kinesiology and what needs to be retested at the end to make sure it's now passing. So keeping your eyes closed, take a nice long breath. And sometimes at the end of a core treatment, clients will go to, into a beautiful somatic state of sleepiness. Hello, you can come in. She is. She is, but... 
She's asleep at the moment. Yeah. If you would like to sit down. Yeah. So enjoying a few more breaths of sleepiness. Keeping your eyes closed and slowly taking a nice, long, big breath. And sending that breath all around your body. Sending your breath to your feet and your fingers, stretching out through all 20 digits, playing the piano with your fingers and toes. And then if you feel like it, circling with your ankles and your wrists. And then circling, rotating the shoulders. And then if you feel like it, bringing your arms up over your head for a nice whole body stretch. You, you okay? Yeah, really okay. So we're just going to retest a couple of things before you get up. Okay, so... Uh, can I have your left arm and your left leg and hold? Rock solid. Can I have a, a medium ballet on your, yeah, medium, so a little bit higher than that. Yeah. And hold. Brilliant. Okay, the other one was fine. Um... Can I do an asis? Yes, so it was down on this side. Give me an arm and hold, good. And it was your right hip and hold. Ooh, that's not happy. Let's just give that a little bit of extra TLC. Am I all right doing this? Yeah. Any soreness? A bit, yeah. On the front here? Yeah, groin, I did wonder, yeah. Do you mind me doing this? I'll do some stretching and get home as well. And that number four, whatever you called it. Yeah. Figure four. F figure four, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just try that again. And hold. There's a little juddering there, but it's better than it was. Okay. Um, right, sagittal suture, parietal sphenoids. So can you make a line and hold, whole hand and hold, zygomatic and hold, zygomatic and hold, and left sphenoid and hold. Really good, lovely, sorted. I think you're going to feel better. Thank you very much. My pleasure. I love the warm bed. The warm bed's like the best bit. <laughs> and the warm blanket and your feet being tucked in. Yeah, they're the best bit. It's yeah. so cute seeing you two together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm all bliss and he's really ready. Really. Oh, yeah. look, she's smiling and everything. I know. Oh, hey. oh. Oh, my day, you missed her. Yeah, please. Okay.